Hey guys, um, welcome back to 3D. Yeah, it's good to have you here. Um, so we are starting our second series of the fall, which fun. We just um, finished series number one, which was on spiritual disciplines, which I thought was really good. Um, I love how you guys like engaged in that, um, like outside of Sunday night. I thought that was really cool. Um, but now I think our last series is actually a really good segue into what we're talking about now. So this series is on gratitude, which one is timely because Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. um, what a time to be thankful, but also like, can you think of a better time in our lives to be grateful than fall of 2020? Yeah. The history of the world this fall 2020. It's a standout time for gratitude. Right. So <laughs> let's address that, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's not a super easy time to be talking about gratitude. It feels, I mean, maybe this is just me, but it feels hard mm -hmm. to feel grateful right now. Mm -hmm. And so that's like the elephant in the room. We've addressed it. It's fine. But I think as we... Um, start to learn about gratitude, we'll find that maybe our circumstance doesn't have everything to do with our response of gratitude. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, when, um, have you seen on like Facebook or whatever, when probably moms, not to, pet, they don't watch Facebook. They don't, they're not on Facebook, but, but maybe but I, you yeah, yeah. have experience. So, you know, on MySpace, when um, people I do love things. MySpace. Okay. So anyway, mm -hmm. um, in November, often older people who are in their 40s or so like to post 30 days of thankfulness. Yes. Things I'm thankful for for 30 days. I've seen that. And um, I've tried that before, and it works for about, I mean, I feel grateful for about eight days. I'm real good at it. Uh -huh. And then from eight to day 17, it's like, shoot. Like man, I'm still doing this, posting, yeah. and by about November seventeenth, I would say about eighty four percent of the moms have quit doing it. Yes, um, and they've just moved and on that's to a, that's an accurate statistic. Yeah, those are I looked it up, <laughs> I researched it, and did it. Don't fact check us. No, please don't. Um, on that, um, so <laughs> okay. So when we talk about gratitude, we don't want you um, to hear us saying like check this box. Like, do this activity of pretending to be grateful or even, like, you know, naming something that you're grateful for just to do it. Um, gratitude is something that addresses, you know, you hear people say the attitude of gratitude, mm -hmm. but it does. It, yeah. it addresses our attitude and, and practicing and building a healthy habit of being grateful and looking for things to be grateful for um protects us, defends us from our own bad attitude. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. And so when we, um, one of the things, one of the ways that we can fall short of the glory of God, you know, is in, in choosing an attitude that's contrary to Christ, that isn't what God would have for us. Um, when you think about, um, you know, I could be, I could be grateful, but you know what I'm going to do is, wine I like to I mean I'm guilty of that one yeah can you take a second and just address falling short of the glory of God sure so when we talk about falling short of the glory of God and we're talking about sin the way that we talk about it is um known like actions you choose to do that go against what God would have you do but also choosing an attitude that would go against what God would have for you mm -hmm. Um, it's it's in that choosing it. Gratefulness helps defend us. So when we're talking about the opposite of gratitude, it's selfishness. Selfishness, which um, what you're saying is it doesn't allow us to like access God's best for us. Right. Yeah. Right. So um, thinking about that, um, I want to share a little bit. We're going to look at uh, Luke from Luke 17, and so Jesus is talking to his disciples. And he's talking to them about um, their attitudes. He says, he uses this example. He says, okay, so if there's this master and he says to his servant, um, go ahead and prepare my dinner. 
and serve me my dinner. When the servant prepares his dinner and serves it to him, um, is the master supposed to be like, like, good job, buddy. <laughs> you did it. You did. Well done doing the task that I assigned to you. Right. Um, right. Do you need a cookie? A cookie. You want a cookie for that? You did so good. No, he's expecting him to do what he was asked to do. Um, and so he ha- Jesus teaches or talks to that about the disciples. And then there is this um, story that is giving an example to the disciples about that. So now on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he was going into a village, ten men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and called out to him in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, Go, show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. So he gives them a direction, and as they obey that direction, they are healed. Their obedience makes them well. One of them, when he saw he was healed, came back, praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him, and he was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, were not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, rise and go, your faith has made you well. So all ten were cleansed. All ten were um, rid of the leprosy. So when Jesus says, your faith has made you well, this is this deeper healing Mm -hmm. that this guy got. And the only reason he got that deeper healing is because he turned around and went back and thanked Jesus for the work he had done in his life. So the reason that this is such a nice, um, this segue so nicely from the spiritual disciplines is when you... um, pray and when you uh, worship, when you study the word, when you do the things that we talked about in the last series, um, it is so likely, I I just guarantee that you are going to get blessed out of that. Mm -hmm. Just like all 10 of them, when they did what they were told, you do the things, these things that are good, that are obeying Jesus, that he would have for you to do, you are going to be made well. You know, yeah. and that's awesome. Um, what I want you to hear is that when you are made well, when you are wor- worshiping and you are, your spirit is um, freed up or when you're praying and you see those prayers answered, when you read the word and you grow in your faith and you grow in understanding, your response should not be like, huh, cool dude. Right. Like neat. That's neat. And it should not, also, it should not be like, God should be really pleased with me because I used to read my Bible never, and now I read it some. <laughs> you know? Now I read it on Tuesdays. Now I read it one to two times. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so God and Pastor Olivia should be happy with me, and it's fine now. No, when you are getting, when you are getting the blessing of obedience, when you're doing what God asks of you, when you serve, and through that serving you are um, made well and healed and you are served, you should turn. You should turn and you should say, God, thank you. Right, right. Like, because he's doing that for you. Yeah. And can I just point out one thing before we wrap up? Um, this this man who was healed, mm-hmm. you know, um, he did get the physical healing, mm-hmm. um, but he also got this deeper healing that you're talking about. And... I think we often forget, like, our bodies are so temporary. Mm -hmm. Like, they're just, I don't know, temporary. They're not permanent. And so it's like the other other nine, their bodies were healed, but we don't know about the condition of their soul, Right. you know? Um, And this man, he came back, he was grateful, and his soul is healed, and that's not temporary. Right. Like, that's the most important thing, and it's so easy to get distracted by our temporary yeah. when really like what matters is the, the deeper healing, like the soul renewal. And so I think that's why that story is so important Yeah, for gratitude specifically. We can get so, I'm going to try to say that again. We can get so distracted by the temporary right. that we miss that, he, that deeper healing, yeah. the soul. Yeah. 
Because yeah. that's what's permanent. Right. Yeah. So that's that, good. That's that's gratitude. Um, I hope you guys have a really good conversation about it. Um, and we'll catch you next time. Yeah.